Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out Mencia Never Was Tell. This is a game made by some students. Looks like a side scroller beat em up. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow, and I always appreciate it. And it's not going through my headset, so we'll fix that. I will show you. Banana meter. Oh, is it already up? Uh oh. Is there sound in the game? I have to get to the castle. Hurry up. I'll check it. Okay. Is that the board talking? She's not highlighted. But, but I, I. There's no time to lose. Come on. But the volume. There's no escape key doesn't work. Wait a second. Uh, right, let's play something with sound. That'd be a way to figure it out. According to her friend. Okay. It just doesn't have background music. Why? Listen to me closely. This is important. You must zoom me towards the other side for the at aim to the other side and press R1 or left click. We need some ambient music, my, do my dude. I got this. Evo Wave! Love me some Evo Wave. Hopefully I didn't fall out trying to get space. Aha! Evo Wave never fails. Boom. I don't know how oh, space bar works. Then you have to wish with all your desire to come where I'm at. Precisely wish it with R1 or left click. Huh. So it seems I need, I need to right click and then left click, like so. I don't know. Maybe I read the instructions wrong. I don't know. I'm not an adult. There's achievements, but they're not in English, so I don't understand. Oh my god, that's awesome. I like the mechanic, at least. That's sick. Can I just do this? Okay, no, you get two max. I was just wondering if I could, like, ult, like, jump forever. They were prepared. Somebody to try to break the game, I guess. You get two. Darn, Green Booger. We have to destroy him. Ah! Ah! Leave this to me. When we get closer, I'll attack. As long as I have your consent for contractual purposes of the Magic Sword Carrier's normative. Ah! <laughs> Size. Just press square or left click and that's it. Alright. Oh, I should zoom back out when he's done talking. Oh, that did not work. Yes, there are more corpses. Stop screaming. Oh my god. I couldn't go because he was talking. Rainy CR. Because he was talking. Thanks, dude. <laughs> He's a cute character, at least. There we go. Now you can talk. Yes, those are more corpses. Stop screaming. <laughs> I can handle this job and attack downwards. I'll open the way. Jump and attack downwards. Sorry, I just woke up. I ain't working, bro. Oh, S. Ah. Here comes the handicap. You can only throw me two times and teleport right before touching the floor. If you have already done it more than two times, then until we touch a surface, you won't be able to do it again. Don't look at me like that. Somebody made up these rules, and I am pretty sure they did it with bad intentions. Ahem. <laughs> Nevertheless, if you want to hit an enemy while being on the air, the counter restarts, and you will be able to throw me and teleport again. Throw me towards that enemy, teleport and hit it. After that, continue forward until you reach the top of the cliff. I'm zoomed. Up. Uh, oh. That did not work at all. I thought...
Oh, maybe I got laying on top of it. Okay. Oh, jeez. So just touching us, probably not enough. You gotta land on it somehow. Oh my god, we killed it. Are we doomed? Please respawn. Oh my god, are we doomed? Maybe you respawn. Oh my god, we are doomed. How could this happen to me? <laughs> but it wasn't reset my jump like it said it was going to. Oh, I'm annoyed, actually. That'll teach you. Screw you, sword. Stop right now! Ah! <laughs> Those are mortal magic traps. If you pass near them, they'll explode soon. You must quickly pass when you are near them. Ow. Thank you. Chose the wrong path. The castle is on the other side. I have a magic formula to fix this. It is something that only must be used if you are trapped. To summon it, keep press F. Be on the other side. Oh, first stone. Ah! Uh, oh my God! <laughs> nice. Chapter one, allegedly. <laughs> As you can tell, some of it's not fully translated, but that's okay. The translation they did do is pretty decent. Ow, jeez you. Don't touch me. Wow, well, don't want to land in that. I'm just going to do this the safe way because... Oh, Jesus! Wow, that was far. What the heck? Nice. Did I get health back at some point, or am I just... Oh, God, please! Bring this yard! Started blasting, said the alien. Alright, I'm gonna try to get this jump back again. No, I don't get a jump back. Maybe if I punch the alien. Okay, yeah, if you punch him, okay. I just didn't understand the instructions as they were given, I guess. I'm not an adult. Thank you. Oh, you turd. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> I will say the mechanics in the game are fun. Wait a second, what? I don't know if I'm supposed to go down here or not. What the fudge, dude? What? Do I have to kill everything or- Oh, you gotta kill everything. I didn't see the little counter up there. Okay, I got you. God. You son of a gun! <laughs> Sorry. Like, you can't even see me, bro. Chill out, dog. Hey, that is really fun. I cannot get over how fun that mechanic is. I'm gonna be real honest. That is. Such a good part of this game. Yeah, 
Don't spit at me. I'm ready. Oh, he teleports. Good for you. Teleport to your death, son. How you like that? Campo de Batalia, A in achievement. Let's go. Actually, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, hell no. I do like that you get bonus jumps once you kill things. That's nice. I thought I had to land on them to do it, but I think I might have just misunderstood the instructions, I guess. Obviously. Turn around, bright eyes. I forgot how the turn system worked. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Invisible wall angle in the way. I feel like if I do, I'm just gonna break the game and I have to start all the way over. There are no checkpoints in this game. Oh my, no, please, let me start from this stage. I don't want to start over. No, no. Oh my God. I can't get out of here. We're stuck in the credits. Oh, how dare they. It said extras, I didn't say credits. <laughs> I don't want to show the credits until I beat the game, even though this is, like, actually so difficult with how the enemies auto-aim and, like, insta-shoot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm pissed. There, I did it. Now let me out of here. They just spawn back. train I have a body anymore. There we go. Oh my god, dude. I gotta look up how many levels there are after this run. Because uh, if there's too many, this game might be too hard for not having any checkpoints. And these things auto-aiming at me and whatnot. He's already charged up and ready to blast me in the face, bro. Like, what? Okay, guy. I need more hearts than two, bro. <laughs> if you're gonna give your characters auto-aim. Oh my god, he hit me! Oh my god. Ah! No! Okay, I, I might be done, actually. <laughs> I might be done. I'm actually really annoyed. Ah. No! Fudge! My! You see how he's charging up while I was coming down from here and Insta shot me when I fell? That's not good. That shouldn't be like that. Definitely when I have two freaking hearts to get through a whole stage. Oh man.
Oh, they start the game with no music. Wow, that's probably not a good idea, by the way. I'm about to negatively review this game, even though it has, like, all the potential in the world to be a great game. Like, they came up with an awesome mechanic and play style for the game, and then they ruined it with zero playtesting. I'm 100% sure this was not playtested. And if it was, whoever did it offered no feedback that was constructive or helpful at all in the making of this game. Like, this is so... Oh! There's so many, like, small issues that build up in this game that it is not even... I'm not having fun anymore, actually. I went from having a lot of fun when I first started to actually no fun because of how the game's made. <laughs> like, this is... So bad, bro. One. I'll get to it when I get to the end. When I get to the end, I'll tell you all the things all over again of what they should have changed or fixed or seen when they were playing the game and been like, oh, maybe this is a problem. Like, maybe we should not have this in the game. You know what I mean? And I get it's a student project, but these aren't like a glaring, massive issues that would take forever to fix. These are like small quality of life things that shouldn't take them barely ever, like barely any time at all to fix. And again, I'm just venting because I've died a million times and I'm very frustrated. Right there, bro. Fudge! Jesus. Okay, this guy's gonna answer, shoot me, I can feel it. We made it. Oh my god, we made it. I don't want to play anymore. So worried about dying now.
Please don't kill me. God, you f Um, I'll be honest with you, if I die here, I'm probably done. <laughs> I'll be real honest. I'm so frustrated with this game. Hey guys, thanks for watching as always. I did not beat the game because I let me go on my rent. You get hit, right? You get iframes. You cannot attack. So if you're bouncing from thing to thing or you get hit by a greet and laser beam, you lose your shut the hell up, laser beam guy. You lose your ability to attack. Your ability to attack is how you refresh your jumps. So that basically means say you're jumping over a chasm or something, and you get one hit by something. You're gonna fall and die, and then you have to start all the way over. This game has no checkpoints, so you have to start all the way over when you die. You get two hearts. And if you fall, fall from like, into a chasm or something, that's instant death. The enemies have auto-aim. They don't have to like, actually aim at you, which means that when they shoot, if you teleport, which is instantaneous, you will get hit. 100% of the time. But they will shoot exactly where you teleported to. Because they don't have to move their guns. They don't have to move their face for the face shooting things. It's like this wasn't playtested at all. And it's so painful. Because it is fun. Like, the mechanics are fun. But this game has so many issues with, like, quality of life for the player. It's terrible. They like to put the green laser beams exactly where your sword lands. Like, the distance. Oh my god, that you're gonna jump to? The green laser beams I'm basically talking about are like the force field you have to go through with your sword. They hide the music for some reason, like when you start the game the music's muted. I don't know why. It's like it wasn't play tested at all. Or whoever did just, like I said, did not do a very good job at like giving feedback. They're just like, oh this is great, I love it. <laughs> Maybe they beat it on the first try so they didn't see it and didn't go back to play it again. I don't know. Oh, but the checkpoint thing is so... People that don't put checkpoints in their game are... Like, they've never played a game before. I swear to God. Because <laughs> when you're a kid, right? You had those games, or for the older people, you had those games where the game couldn't like feasibly have checkpoints so you had to start all the way over. If you had to deal with that, you know you hated that. Because it made the game so much harder to clear, even though they might not have been a hard game. Or they did arcade machines just to cheat you out of your quarters. So, the fact that games that have the capability of doing checkpoints don't do it is so frustrating and stupid. Oh, I hate it so much. I think I'm gonna download this game, even though I really like the mechanic. I hate to, because, I, like I said, I really like the playstyle. Also, my character, usually, I like it where my... Uh, attacks are focused on like how I move the character so usually that would be the A and D key because that's how you walk around in this game but in this game because you use the jump so much how you move your mouse is basically where the sword should be facing at all times but that's not the case for this game um, if you right click say I right click to the left and I'm facing right she'll turn to the left but like say She's facing to the right, my mouse is over here. She's going to attack to the right. It shouldn't be like that. If my main mode of movement through the game, which is the jump, is the mouse, it should the sword should fall on my mouse. It makes the game play way better. Oh my. But yeah, the wind up time for the things attacks aren't far enough. They have auto aim, which is a problem. Honestly, the white, if it wasn't a combination of all these things at the same time, it wouldn't be that big of a problem. But they have all these things going on at the same time. No checkpoints. Two hearts of life. Insta death. Also, if you have somebody that's jumping from top to bottom on a stage and I can't see underneath me, that's bad game design. Definitely if I don't have checkpoints. Oh my god, bro. 
Like, I should have a way to look down. There's so many times in this game where you're going down and you can't see what's beneath you. So you either have to die and figure it out. Or insta react. Oh. Uh, we call those gotcha moments. Basically where you have no idea what's going to be beneath you until you actually get down there. Oh, that's so bad. Regardless, I think the teleporting and the tech and the chaining the teleporting is fantastic. And I think the story could have been interesting if I would have got to the end, but I have put way too much time in this game for what it is. And they, it feels like it's not playtested at all. Because it really, I know it's a student game, but like some of these issues, I brought up these issues before to like solo game developers and they can fix them so quickly Obviously, I'm not a game developer myself, but I could tell that these are issues that it wouldn't take long to fix if they actually played the game enough to know they were issues. It's not like something crazy where like it's like a game-altering glitch. It's just like quality of life thing that do not exist in the game. But thanks for watching as always. Hate to give it a negative review, but I cannot. Oh, uh, bro. I really hate it too because I like... I'm gonna give it one more try. Hi guys, thanks for watching as always. Bye!